Welcome back to Caring Professional Services. In this video we will be going over how to complete a visit for a long-term care or LTC patient using Electronic Visit Verification or EVV in Access Home Care. To begin you will have to open the Access Home Care app. If you do not yet have the app, or don't know how to log in please watch our video on downloading Access Home Care and Access Core. Once you have opened the Access Home app you will be asked to log in. You will log in using the email that you gave to the agency when you first applied. If you have any trouble logging in, please contact the agency or watch our video on downloading Access Home Care and Access Core. That video will help instruct you on how to log in and what to do if you cannot log in. Once you have logged in you will immediately see your schedule. The first thing you will see is that there are three tabs. The first tab the app opens to is your upcoming visits. These are visits that you are scheduled to complete but have not completed. If you do not see the visit that you are scheduled for you will want to press the Pass Due tab. Under the Pass Due tab, you will find any visit that you are completing later than scheduled. For instance, if your visit starts at 10 o'clock in the morning and you are starting the visit at 11.30 in the morning you will find the visit under the Pass Due tab, not under the Upcoming tab. Now that we know where to find a visit let's complete our first visit. When completing a visit, you will want to look for your patient's name and the service you are completing. For patients with long-term care a visit may be called personal care mobile, homemaking mobile, respite mobile, adult companionship mobile, attendant care mobile or chore mobile. When selecting a visit to complete please make sure that you are completing the correct visit type and that you begin the visit for the correct patient. When you have found the visit you will be completing you will select, or press the visit. After selecting the visit, you wish to complete you will be moved to another window which shows you the visit's details at the top, a map with the patient's address, and at the bottom you will see two buttons. One button will say visit note, the other will say start visit verification. You will select visit note. You will be asked if you want to start the visit, you will press yes. In pressing yes the app will create a GPS stamp officially marking your time in and your GPS location when you clocked in. From there you will be taken to the visit note. This is where you fill out the note connected to the visit you are completing. The note may look intimidating but it's straightforward. You will see several tabs, beginning with the care plan. If you select care plan, a drop down will appear where you can select to view the patient's care plan. Please refer to this care plan if you are ever confused as to what task or care you are going to be providing to the patient. After that there are several tabs which contain various visit details. If you would like to know more about what information you will find in these tabs, please refer to our video Navigating Access Home Care. The most important tab you must pay attention to is the daily living tasks. At this time, we are not required to take vital signs for long-term care patients, you should not have a tab for vital signs. If you see this drop-down available to you, please disregard the tab or simply press NA or not applicable. The daily living task tab will look different for each different kind of visit and will be connected to that visit's care plan. These daily tasks are the tasks you are to complete for the patient during that visit. For every task that you complete you will mark yes, if you did not complete a task you will mark no but you will also have to comment on why the task was not completed. For instance, if you are tasked with grooming or brushing the patient's hair but they refuse the service you will mark no and under the task you will type in refused. You must select yes or no for all tasks available or you will not be able to complete your visit. The app will give you an error and ask you to review the information before completing your visit. Once you have marked all your daily tasks you select or press the complete button at the bottom of the screen. After pressing complete you will be taken to a screen where you will see the signature date and you will see two buttons, complete and save and exit. You will press complete, by doing so you will begin the confirmation for the visit. Attention please make sure that you are completing the note after you have completed the patient's visit. If you complete the visit before you are supposed to leave the app will not document your time correctly and you will only be paid for the time recorded in the app. For instance, if you are completing an hour of personal care you must start your visit at the beginning of the hour and complete the note at the end of the hour. 
If you complete your note before the hour is over you will not be paid for an hour of service, you will be paid for the time recorded in the app. After you have pressed complete you will be taken to a screen where you will see the visit details at the top of the screen and under the visit details you will see the signature date and two buttons collect client signature and cancel task verification. This screen with show a time in and out, please disregard these times as we will be using your true EVV time in and out. You will press the collect client signature button. In pressing the collect signature button, the app will immediately document that time as your time out for that visit. At this time your phone will change to a horizontal view, this is so that you can take the patient's signature. In order to get the patient's signature, you will press the Get Client Signature button. In doing this a screen will appear where the client can sign their name using their finger. It's okay if the signature isn't perfect as we also have the GPS location of the signature. When you have collected the patient's name you will press Done. If the patient is unable to sign themselves, you will select Unable to Sign Reason. You will be given three options, Physically impaired is when the patient cannot sign due to a physical limitation, Mentally impaired is when a patient cannot sign because they are mentally unreliable. If there is any other reason the patient cannot sign you will select the other option and you will have to type in the reason the patient could not sign. In these cases, after you have selected the reason the patient cannot sign another box will appear where you can obtain the caretaker's signature. Caretakers include anyone who cares for the patient such as family members. Once you have chosen the reason the patient cannot sign, you will press the green Get Staff Signature button or Submit button at the bottom of the page. If you got the client signature directly using the client signature button you will have a green submit button at the bottom of the page. At this time a small box should appear saying success completed EVV. You will press OK. And your phone will once again go into a horizontal mode, this is because we will now obtain your signature. This will confirm that you were the one that completed the visit. You will sign your name with your signature and press done. Now that you have collected both necessary signatures you will see a small box appear that should say success note complete at this time you have completed the note. If you have any problems, please refer to our video Axis Home Care Frequently Asked Questions. There we go over some of the questions we received the most and how to deal with some of the issues you might encounter out in the field. As always if you have any urgent questions please contact the agency directly. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time.